name is Andrea Lillo with Home Accents Today. And with me virtually today is John Barnes of Lamps Plus. John, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, no problem. Glad to be here. Well, it's a different world, and I would love to hear how Lamps Plus is handling the pandemic, what's been you know, strong for you, what's been challenging, that sort of thing. So I'd love your, your, your take on a few things. Well, um, yeah, a few things have uh, changed over the, the past couple months, yeah. right? And keep changing, right? It's a constant, yeah. uh, just constant evolving. Yeah, and I think that's been the, the biggest a challenge for any organization, any size company, is just that it is a constantly evolving situation with, with new challenges every month, every week. Um, the, the biggest thing we're seeing from consumers is a little, it, it's twist on some of the old things that they've been looking for. They're, they're looking for ways to make their homes more livable and more comfortable, but they're, it's got the spin of, um, you know, now a lot of people are working from home. Now a lot of people are also schooling from home that, now that right. schools are starting up again. So th those are, you know, the, the main concerns of what they're looking for, but there are also some new challenges with that. Well, when the pandemic started, did you see any particular buying trends with consumers and how has it evolved over the last few months? Well, I think initially we saw a big uh, a push for uh, portable lighting. So table lamps, desk lamps, things that people- Easy needed. changes. Well, not only that, yes, but uh, not only that, I think it was people responding to them having to work at home. So they were looking for ways to make their their home spaces more livable and more comfortable. Um, and, you know, so they were looking for products like uh, table lamp sets that where they get, uh, you know, two of the, the same lamp and they could use that in a home office situation or, uh, you know, to, to uh, brighten and, and change up a living room. Um, they were, you know, we're set, seeing uh, uh, big sales of things like USB table lamps. And the, these are designs that have USB ports built into the, the base of the lamp so that someone could uh, place it bedside, charge a lamp overnight, or you can put it on your, you know, wherever your work or study space is and keep your laptops, uh, iPads, and phones all charged up and ready to go. Yeah, very convenient. Um, and also things like um, uh, workstation bases. These are designs where you, you put the, it's a base and you put the lamp on top of the base and the base has built into it USB ports and outlets. So uh, more than one person, you know, if it's a work from or a, a school uh, at home situation, more than one person can have a device or a phone plugged in and, and charged up. So those types of things sold really well initially. Mm -hmm. um, now I think it's settled down a little bit and now people are just looking for ways to make their, their, their home environment more livable and more comfortable. Interesting. Now, with the with the work bases, that's really very clever. Like you just you can you convert any lamp to being a, a workspace. Essentially, is that something that you the Lamps Plus developed, or is this something um, you've been working yeah, this on? Is, yeah, this is one of our uh, proprietary designs, and uh, yeah, it, they you know work uh, in virtually any setting. They're great um, on a bedside table because uh, you can plug in your um, device at night and it charges. The lamp doesn't have to be on for any of the, the ports or the outlets to work. Uh, there are also some that have built in uh, uh, dimming capabilities. So it's a, mm. it turns whatever you've got plugged into it, whatever lamp is on top, it turns it into a, a touch lamp. So you just touch the, the workstation base anywhere and it turns the lamp on and off. And th those are great also for bedside use and for, uh, you know, uh, home office, work from home situations. And it's all about functionality, right? Multifunction. So that, that kind of product, you can get light, you can be charged. It's, it's, uh, it looks good. It's, you know, it's stylish. It's a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. That sounds very clever. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, one of the things we've tried to stress over the past couple of months is that, you know, with, with people at home is that, you know, there's a couple simple secrets to getting great lighting at home. And one of them is to use uh, layers of light. It's to use more than one light source. 
And so, uh, you know, having that workstation base or having sets of lamps, that kind of, those kinds of things, um, really kind of helps um, with that idea that, that you've got like a, a task light for reading. You can, you can dim it down to turn it into an accent light and you combine it with other light sources in the room um, to get that comfortable kind of livable look that, that people are wanting. I think sometimes people don't realize how important lighting is until they don't have it or, uh, you know, they, they can't, you know, they don't have enough light to read or something and we're just, or looks bad and they want it to look good. I think people don't, uh, you know, don't think about it until, I mean, it's necessary, it's essential. So well, right. I, I think it's the last thing people tend to think about when they're, you know, doing their home decor, mm -hmm. but it's the one element that can make everything else in your, your room look so much better. Absolutely. Uh, using that layer of light idea where you have multiple light sources, um, you know, that, that gives you that rich layered look in any room um, that people are looking for. It's the, the look that people see in magazines and TV shows and using simple strategies like that um, can really help people, you know, improve the, the ambiance and the livability of their rooms, I think. That's great. What about other trends? Like, what are you seeing in portables overall or uh, fixtures? Like, what, what are some of the new materials or designs or uh, that kind of driving that, those areas? Sure. So I mentioned a couple of things for, for portables, the, the lamp sets, um, the, the USB um, lamps, the, you know, that have outlets in the USB ports. Also seeing uh, a lot of interest in nightlight table lamps. So these are mm -hmm. designed to have a built-in nightlight. Um, in many cases, the, the nightlight is an LED light source and uh, LEDs can be, can be pretty bright. So you're, you're getting not only a, a top light, but you're getting a, a fairly a bright uh, bottom nightlight as well. So this is great for, uh, you know, when people want to had set up a home theater situation or just have a reference light at night to, to navigate a room by. Um, modern Lux, farmhouse, industrial styles and portables are all still really strong. Um, a lot of interest in uh, sort of mid-century looks with uh, ceramics, uh, different, different profiles, uh, diff you know, different uh, sort of retro mid-century shapes to them. Um, in fixtures, there's uh, a lot of interest in uh, ring or wagon wheel um, derived shape. So you, you've got a, you know, a big ring with different light sources on it. Uh, the orb and open cage looks are still really popular. Um, I think the, probably the biggest thing for fixtures is the new finishes. So we're seeing a lot of uh, soft golds, um, different shades of black. And then the mixed metal look is really strong. So we, where a fixture combines, uh, you know, a couple different uh, finishes. So blacks with golds, uh, blacks with um, brushed nickels. Th those are all mm -hmm. been real strong looks. Yeah, black and gold. What a strong combination that is. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, you know, that, uh, you know, kind of look really works well with, toward the sense of making a home or a space more livable, more comfortable, that kind mm -hmm. of richness of uh, finish and, and the look you get from it. I think the other thing in fixtures that we're seeing is an interest in uh, pattern. So mm -hmm. we came out recently with a, a line of uh, new designs that feature printed uh, patterns that um, are applied in a band around the uh, shape of the, the chandelier or pendant. Um, and these can be in wide variety of different patterns, faux woods, different faux finishes. And I think that uh, has proven popular because it's a way of introducing a, a bit of visual interest. And again, uh, a way of making a, a space look more comfortable and, and more interesting um, through, through the use of those types of uh, designs. You're bringing a different type of, of style to, uh, to a room. And uh, that sounds great. Anything with, like faux wood, anything with wood or uh, those types of patterns really, really work well. And the, and the great thing about those type of patterned uh, uh, fixtures for us is that if, you know, faux woods are really hot right now, that sort of farmhouse look, 
But in a couple of years, a couple of months, if that the consumer interest changes and a new trend develops, we can print a new pattern or patterns that that, uh, that address that that trend. So it's, it's a, we're using the same fixture base essentially, but with a different pattern. Just popping it out so you can mix it up. That's wonderful. Yep. That's very clever. Well, John, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, it was good to sure. see you and learn about what you know how Lamps Plus is is doing. And um, you know, I know it's a crazy year, but best of luck to you and uh, Lamps Plus. Well, you guys as well. Pleasure to be here anytime. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.